Now today we'll be showing on how to test and replace a PCV valve, in this case from a 2006 Acura TL. Some common symptoms they may have include engine stalling, rough idle, poor acceleration, hesitation, even excessive oil consumption. Now the PCV valve in the hosing lives underneath this plastic cover, so you have three flathead, they're really just rubber grommets. And then just gently lift this up and there you go now the PCV valve lives on the passenger side here's the alternator look straight up and this is exactly what you'll be looking at now you want to make sure this is not leaking oil inside here are two o-rings in fact and I'll show you in a moment what that looks like also take a look at the body it's not cracking it's not falling apart that sort of thing after 13 years the body seems to be okay then look straight up and you have a rubber hose right here check for crack and deterioration holes things along those lines and also there's another hose back here on the drivers drivers rear and also again make sure that this is not deteriorating cracking holes things along those lines after 13 years they still seem to be in good shape but nonetheless good time to replace them if you want to now to test the valve it's actually rather simple we'll, we'll start the car and then I'll be squeezing both this rubber hose here and the rubber hose in the rear and I'll be using a screwdriver as a stethoscope and as we squeeze these two hoses we should hear a click sound at the PCV valve. Now with a screwdriver uh, you may hear more of a whooshing sound as opposed to a click sound and you also will hear a slight RPM decrease but this is what you want to listen for. Now if you do need to replace the valve, it's easy enough. It's held in by one 10 millimeter fastener. There you go. And pull it out slowly because you may have some oil spill out. And uh, in fact, I'll uh, use a, uh, a towel. Now sometimes these can stick a little bit and what you can do, just a flat head, as you can see you have some engine oil here, and just lightly twist it, rotate the screwdriver or your flat head, and here you go. And then of course once you're ready to reinstall the PCV valve, make sure you have new rubber grommet. Go ahead, reinstall it, and when you Tighten down the fastener, don't over torque it, okay? So it's really only around nine foot pounds from the factory. So, in other words, just make it snug. You don't have to go crazy. You know, uh, the last thing you need to, to do is break one of these. And that's it, that wraps up the installation.